Okay, so I'm finally able to screen capture. This is going to be a new category in video. Mm. So, what you guys are looking at is my playlist for Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is literally the legend of the new era of hip hop. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people, a lot of new kids probably won't know what Snoop, who Snoop Dogg is. So, I'm going to be here to remind you guys who he is <clears throat> and what impact he had. Because uh, everything that's going on, he's the new generation. He was the first rapper to really capture the attention of uh, this just the new generation and still maintain himself. I mean, look, he got 16 albums. Um, he started in 93. So I'm going to go down through his playlist. We're gonna test out this screen capture real quick. And I can't do the the reaction videos yet. I gotta I gotta get a better laptop. The reaction videos are coming really soon. Let's just say that They're coming sooner, sooner than later. But uh, we're gonna test out the screen capture. So I'm gonna go real slow through the playlist. It's number two, Dog Father. Snoop Doggy Dog, 96. It's that Tupac era. Number three, Soul Not Told. And by the way, I can't play these songs. Because I'm going to put this on YouTube. And I do not want to get copyrighted. So, uh, this is going to be my playlist. I, I, I want to, I plan on doing DJ sets little little parties and, and here and there. I won't consider myself a DJ, just some guy that plays music has a playlist. I'm, I'm going to be prepared for any situation. The playlist is going to get a lot bigger. Uh, this is his third album. He was with Master P. This this one he was with Death Row. This is the end of Death Row. He was with Master P right here. He was with Master P right here. This, this is one of my favorite albums. We all love this one. In the last meal, he started getting a little better. Sold Not Told, Sold Not Told is considered to be his worst album. So the last meal, that's a pretty dope album. Then this is when he started going a little more independent. The sixth album, Paid the Cost to Be the Boss. And this is when he really started becoming a household name and he started outsourcing himself. He started fucking with more of the mainstream artists on this one. You see, you got Jay Z verse, the Jay Z feature, the Ludacris feature. I miss Ludacris, man. Uh, oh, this is one of his best albums. This is one of his best. This is his best album to me personally. Rhythm and Gangsta. So, and Blown is one of my favorite songs of all time. Timeless, Sign, and he came up with the Blue Carpet Treatment. These three albums, Blue Carp, Blue Carpet Treatment. This is a little more, this album is a little more hardcore. So, uh, oh, Ego Trippin'. Eagle Trip is when he started slowly going on a de decline. This is, I think this is why, this is why, uh, <laughs> GZ and Game, GZ and, and Game are trying to, uh, claim that they're retiring or, or they're, they're, they're trying to retire because you realize by, by your ninth or 10th album, it's just like, ugh, you know. By your ninth or tenth album, I think people get tired of tired of listening to you. It don't matter if you're putting out good music. People just get tired. People get tired. Of you. People get tired of the same shit. But this is still a good album, though. Then he did uh, Wonderland. He tried to appeal more to the to the kids. He got a Soldier Boy verse on here. You know, this is the good old days, man. It's, it's bringing me back. 
Uh, then we got Documentary. Documentary is a pretty good album. A very underrated album. But by this time, Snoop Dogg's on his 11th album. People, people were tired. People were tired of it. I think people got tired of Snoop Dogg after uh, Ego Tripping. Ego Tripping. They were like, yeah, we're, we're tired of Snoop Dogg. Uh, because Blue Carpet Treatment was his last outing. It was incredible. It did, it, it, it did pretty good. And by the time Documentary, Documentary is a good album, but they were done. People were done with Snoop Dogg. And that's when you got to realize people are done. Then he did Reincarnated, a reggae album. Pretty cool album. Pretty, it's, it's, a, it's an okay album. You know, it's not like trash. It's not like something that you completely just put together. But it's not, it's definitely not a masterpiece. Uh, I still like this album though. Oh, and Bush, only 10 songs. Incredible production. Thanks to Pharrell. Incredible production. Uh, Your Dog. He put Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, everybody on this song ripped it. Snoop Dogg ripped it. Then Edibles, T.I. ripped it. Snoop Dogg set it up from. Then Kool Aid, again. Underrated in a way. Just like um, documentary, but the thing is, is just you know when when you're on the older side, when you're on the older side, you bring elements from you bring elements from your childhood, and people most people can't relate to Snoop Dogg's childhood because Snoop Dogg was born in the '70s. But unless you're born in like '70s or the '80s, you can't really relate to Snoop Dogg's influences you know what I mean it's just it it it, it seems kind of aged uh, but I grew up listening to Snoop Dogg so I understand the influences behind uh, behind that um, never left uh, I don't know where he was going with this album again you know you're, you're he's, he's trying to um, oh and I'm missing albums by the way these are just straight the, the hip hop albums. Um, I also don't I don't get some of the I don't get some of the years right with some of the artists on purpose. Uh, so I know I'm going to be criticized for that. But you know, again, this is Devontae's paradise. So <laughs> it's my paradise, not yours. Uh, we got Never Left. This 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 album is very very aged very aged, you know what I mean, he has very, very, he has older artists in K-Camp, you know, Red Man, Method Man, he has, a uh, KRS-One verse on here, I think, is on this one? yeah, KRS-One, uh, bring, brought in Method Man, Red Man, none, no, kids don't know who these people are, you know, I'm surprised, I know, I barely know who these people are, uh, but then again, I'm a 90s baby, and I, I listen to music my whole life. Uh, Charlie Wilson and a couple couple local LA artists and I wanted to thank me he went right back to getting to the groove of thing working working with older artists but also working with newer artists <laughs> he has a he has a rust feature on here um, I find that kind of funny a lot of people hate rust I personally I personally don't share that same hate. I just don't, I don't care about certain things. I don't, you know. Um, he got Anita, he got some uh, Latino artists on there. Uh, Stupid Young is actually an Asian dude. I, I didn't even know. I seen him, I seen a DJ Vlad interview on it. Um, Trey Songz, it's the first time he's worked with Trey Songz. He got Ozuna and Anita. So Ozuna and Anita or two reggaeton artists, uh, I'm going to be listening to them, too, and covering them, too. Uh, Hip-hop has gotten to definitely, it's definitely gotten to an interesting place. But, um, yeah, this is me just testing the screen capture out. I hope you guys like it. I will be posting this video on YouTube, and I'll be doing more videos like this. The reaction videos are coming soon. I, I want to get at least I want to get at least between 150 to 250 videos 
150 to 200 videos out there and um, then I'm gonna upgrade the laptop so anyway peace. anyway peace